हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर टूडेज टॉपिक डेट इज बेस्ड ऑन द इलेक्ट्रिकल मटेरियल्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू फिगर आउट व्हाट आर द मटेरियल्स आर जनरली यूज्ड फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ एन एनी इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स सो गाइस विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट इज स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज टॉपिक डेट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल मटेरियल्स generally there are three types of electrical materials first one is called a conducting materials second one is called a magnetic materials and third one is called a insulating materials in this lecture we will discuss about the conducting materials and the remaining materials like magnetic materials and insulating materials will discuss in our next lecture now let us see what is called the electrically conducting materials the electrically conducting materials is nothing but the materials which carry current in an electrical machines that is called a con uh, electrically conducting materials and the important properties of electrical conducting material is first one is highly conducting materials whatever the bending we have used for the electrical uh, for the electrical machines that material should be highly conducting and the materials like copper aluminum gold silver comes under the cat, uh, category of the highly conducting materials and the next one is highly resistive materials all the alloys and semiconducting materials like silver germanium and carbon are comes under the uh, highly resistive material highly resistive materials means whose temperature coefficient is low whose temperature coefficient is low that is called a highly resistive materials and what do you mean by temperature coefficient of resistance temperature coefficient of resistance means whose resistance is vary with change in temperature of per degree celsius temperature coefficient of resistance means whose resistance is vary with change in temperature of per degree celsius that is called a temperature coefficient of resistance the formula is r equals to r0 into 1 plus alpha into delta alpha is called a temperature coefficient alpha is called a temperature coefficient of resistance and delta is the is called the change in temperature of per degree celsius and r is called the final resistance and r not is called the initial resistance so that's all about the temperature coefficient of resistance of any materials now let's have a look some important points of the properties of highly conducting materials first important property is called the highest possible conductivity second important property is less temperature of coefficient means it means that whose resistance is going to decrease with increase in temperature uh whose increase in temperature of per degree celsius third important property is adequate mechanical strength and absence of brittleness fourth important property is reliability and durability fifth one is good weldability and shoulder uh, shoulder ability to ensure the low resistance of joints the last one is adequate resistance to corrosion now on the basis of conductivity generally conductivity of any materials is represented by sigma on the basis of conductivity among the materials like uh, gold silver copper and aluminum the conductivity of the gold is higher than the conductivity of the silver and the conductivity of the silver is higher than the conductivity of the copper and the conductivity of the copper is higher than the conductivity of the aluminum so this is gold uh silver copper and last one is aluminum so among this all among the all this material the conductivity of the gold is higher okay now next uh, the important conductivity material copper let's start our discussion about the important conductivity materials like copper generally the copper is used for the machine winding 
so it is used to construct winding of an electrical machine because the cost is not very high and it is highly conducting second important point is copper is resistant to oxidation and corrosion third important point is hard drawn copper wires are used in electrical machines because their mechanical strength is high okay because their mechanical strength is high so the temperature coefficient of the copper is high means the temperature of coefficient of the copper the value of the temperature coefficient of the copper is 0 0.00393 per degree celsius the value of the temperature coefficient of the copper is high but on the basis of general mathematics the value of the conductivity of the copper is low because its value is 0 0.00393 but generally it is high okay now the next important conducting materials is aluminum uh, since copper is getting depleted aluminum is the next best choice for conducting materials because it is evidently available aluminum cannot be drawn into thin wires but copper uh, easily drawn into thin wires but aluminum cannot be drawn so that's why it can be used to form thin shape now let us now let's have a look uh, at the comparison of uh, aluminum and uh, copper on the basis of parameters like cost uh, cross section area diameter volume weight strength okay generally the cost of the aluminium is lower as compared to the cost of the copper materials the cross section area of the aluminium is higher than the cross section area of the copper materials that will be discussed later the diameter of the aluminium materials is higher the diameter and volume of the aluminium material is higher than the diameter and volume of the materials copper weight and strength of the copper material is higher than the weight and strength of the aluminum material now the important question is that why cross section area of aluminum why cross section area why cross section area of aluminum is more than the copper okay now as we know that conductivity of the copper material is higher than the conductivity of the aluminium material okay and uh, also we know that the formula of the resistance is what is the formula of the resistance r equals to r equals to rho into l upon a the conductivity of the copper is higher than the conductivity of the aluminium on the same length l is same on the same length and on the same resistance so resistance of the copper is equals to the resistance of the aluminium okay now r equals to resistance of the copper it can be written as l upon conductivity of the copper into cross section area of the copper is equals to l upon conductivity of the aluminum into cross section area of the aluminum so length of the both the material is same that's why this l and this l is cancel out and the cross section area of the aluminum will come out to be 
ratio of the conductivity of the copper and conductivity of the aluminum into cross section area of the copper since the conductivity of the copper is higher than the conductivity of the aluminum so that's why so that's why the cross section area of the aluminum is higher than the cross section area of the copper so this is the way so this is the way how cross section area of the aluminum is higher than the cross section area of the copper okay so this is the important question sometimes asked in your exam why cross section area of the aluminum is uh, why cross section area of the aluminum is more than the copper okay now now let's have a look some important comparison between the material aluminum and copper first one is for aluminum wire the size of slot required is higher as compared to copper second for induction motor above 100 kilowatt output aluminum can be used for cage rotor that will be discussed on the construction part of an induction motor next is aluminum can be used to form foil type low voltage winding in a transformer next is aluminum can be used to construct tank of a transformer to reduce stray losses and uh, aluminum is easily gets oxidized to form al2o3 which prevent further oxidation so that's all about the discussion of the conducting materials like copper and aluminium. Okay?